from the desk of Dr. G. Melvin Carter is um, the first mayor with black skin. Thank you. Who else can tell us more about Melvin Carter? He's a dad. He's a dad? Dads are awesome. Thanks, buddy. Melvin Carter was a dad and he was kind. Thank you. That means it has um, how steps. many steps you have and how much you, how much Betty? How many steps have you taken today so far? An interesting fact about Carlotta Walls is she was the youngest of the Little Rock Nine, a group of African American students who in 1957 were the first black students to ever attend classes at Little Rock Central High School. Carlotta Walls and the other members of the Little Rock Nine entered Little Rock High School. They were stopped by 300 Arkansas National Guard, summoned by Governor Orval Fabus. When the president heard about this, Dwight D. Eisenhower heard about this, he, he got very angry and he sent the military to come and, and escort them to school. Guy Brown is a meteorologist who is on CARE 11 and he just reports the weather on in Minnesota. All right, how, how accurate has Guy, Guy Brown's forecast been? Um, he's been pretty accurate. Although he's just reporting it, he doesn't get the actual statistics. Um, he's doing a good job explaining what's going to happen in the day and how it's going to feel. Very cool. And I heard you actually, you didn't just study him, but you connected with him. You spoke with him. Tell me about that. Um, we had a Zoom meeting with him and we asked him like a ton of questions and it was really fun to learn. See here. I, oh, guess what? Hey. Um, I want to show you guys the TV studio. Who's ever seen the TV studio before? It's like they're done with the news. So first off, here's the Care 11 backyard. So you may have seen this on TV before, uh, but usually I do the weather outside, uh, which is the first time I've ever done that. And really in my, the whole show for me is outside. So I always start here and I look this way and then, you know, I say, Hey, you know, the weather is going to be like this today. And then they take the graphic and I walk over here and they throw anything they want on this wall behind uh, so, me. So we met with Vanessa Drews last Wednesday and um, she talked about her business. Uh, it's called Cheesecake Funk. She got the Cheesecake Funk name from Prince Sweet. who had her cheesecake and was advertising it in the park in like a park in Minneapolis. The park was actually named Paisley Park in Minneapolis, downtown Minneapolis. She put the cake in the fridge for the backstage workers and it actually made its way into Prince's mouth. Barbie Marshall was born on March 12, 1880. Bobby Marshall is a hero for his bravery and determination. He was the first black athlete at the U of M and the first black person to graduate from the University of Minnesota Law School. Bobby broke many sports barriers by integrating teams and leagues in both baseball and football. He inspired people. Faith Ringgold made paintings during the Civil Rights Movement that showed how people were not being treated fairly and how they felt. She wanted to show the struggles of African Americans. She liked to learn about art and ended up creating her own style by painting with acrylic paint on canvases with fabric for borders. Using this art form, she created a way to tell stories. From one of her works of art, she created the book Tar Beach, which showed strong character and told of growing up in New York City. Sierra Good! <laughs> she was born into slavery after gaining her freedom. She married a carpenter and they started a furniture shop. Sarah designed and built a foldable cabinet bed to help her customers save space. When she first sent in her patent ap application, she had to wait a whole year to hear back, and she was denied. She rewarded and explained more about her unique machine. 
she resubmitted her paperwork and she was awarded a patent a few months later. Catherine Coleman Goble Johnson is an African American human computer for NASA. Human computer? What's yep. that what's that mean? It means like um a long time ago they didn't have super good computers, so they needed humans <laughs> to do all the math. Okay. She graduated from high school at age 14. 14? Yep. She helped do all, no, she helped do the math to help astronaut John Glenn orbit the Earth. Wait, John Glenn didn't do it alone? Yeah, he needed help. Okay, I'm sorry. W.E.B. Du Bois was a civil rights activist. He stood up for the African American rights. He was an accomplished author. W.E.B. Du Bois was the first African American to earn a Ph.D. from Harvard. He died the day before Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Today, many college and universities name bookstores after him. Garrett Morgan was an inventor and a community leader. One of his many inventions was a three-light traffic signal. Fire spikes and horse-drawn carriages were busy sharing the road in 1923, so his invention helped maintain safety on the road. His outstanding invention still lives on today. Morgan was interested in speaking for fellow Africans, so he started a newspaper to discuss important matters. Important.